here we go. $1,110 worth of halves. Black rolls are off coin machine from a local bank. We have a Fed box that is sealed and just a couple of straggler Fed rolls. Some loose. Doesn't appear to be anything in there. We'll check for NIFCs, things of the like. We will also be searching for some varieties through some of this. I'll be looking for some of the DDOs uh, that are out there. Uh, no FGs, things of the like, anything else that's odd and curious. Proofs, NIFCs, and of course the silver is what we're after. So we'll at least start looking for some of those varieties. Sometimes I get a little bored, so yeah, um, don't have a scope. So it makes it a little difficult sometimes and uh, always out there for those goodies. Let's dive in and see what we can find. So here's where we stand. We are second roll in on these black rolls. And something interesting popping up. A little heavy. All right, 226, 25. Nothing to get too excited for. Um, I've popped off the edge. That's different. I think it's silver, but this is most definitely not U.S. Look how much shorter this one is. What's going on in here? Did we just find something special? Foreign? I think it's silver, though. Oh, it has the ring like it. Look at this. Canadian half. Really cool. I have never found a silver Canadian half dollar. I always forget they uh, flip side to side. 1962. Um, composition in this year would have been 80%, I believe. That's awesome. There you see the Laureate portrait there on front of Queen Elizabeth II. Yep, there again, I forgot it. That's really cool, though. Again, these came off Coin Machine um, at one of the banks that I frequent. And that snuck in there. I am thrilled to have this first uh, Canadian silver half that I've ever had. Well, first... Canadian half that I've ever seen, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm sure a couple of you may uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but they don't even make these for circulation anymore. That's cool. Thrilled with that find. Uh, yeah, so there's some hope for the rest of it too. Okay, friends, we're going to set up here. Uh, this is rule number five, Wayne Heavy. Of course, we just found that amazing find in that silver um, Canadian half. Wonder what we have in here. I'm going to guess we have something. There it is. There's an old edge. What do you suppose that's going to be? Is it going to be Walker or Benji? I do think it's U.S. this time. Here we go. I'm guessing Walker. Yeah! Score. No mint mark. We got something older. 41 Philly. Gonna say that's one I don't need. Um, I actually, I have my catalog right here. Why don't I go ahead and just bring it out and check with you? Whoa, can't do that. I gotta find it and then bring it in here. One second, friends. What do we have? I don't think I do, but let's find out together, shall we? 41 Philly. I do have that one. I have a very nice one of that too, an AU condition. Not uncommon there at uh, 24 million minted. Anytime you can find a walker, though, that's amazing. I'll tell you, there have been uh, zero enders out of these black ones, too, but a couple rolls in. We have a couple of amazing finds. Heck yeah, let's get back in. Uh, just got to looking at some of the rejects here and a couple of my rolls. I've done another five, and I didn't notice this one from the edge, uh, so I set it down to the side and I'm um, going back through my rejects so to speak and i found this 2017 s uh catalog time let's bring it back out i might need that one for the collection i do not have very many um proofs of the modern day especially up to 2017 i would almost guarantee that i need this one and i do 2017 uh this is a six a six figure mintage 358,000. 85. Do not have that one. Um, I do have a couple of proofs newer than that. I have the 2020 and 2020 silver variety of that. That's cool. We're going to add it to the book at the end. Of course, you'll see that um, at the tail end after the wrap up. I think we got silver. This is the next roll. So roll number 11. 40% are going to be right there. 
right off my thumb. You can see it. Nothing on the ends. We have some pretty cool finds so far for being just a couple of rolls into it. 66 with a lot of odd toning. Thrilled with that find. We're filling that board. Look at that. We're only 11 rolls into these uh, black rolls. Back in we go, though. Look at that guy. All sorts of crooked. 25.97. Yep, that's a silver right there. One off being the end. That's difficult to tell. If I wasn't looking hard, I'd probably miss that one. It's going to be 40, I bet. Another 66. Toned up both sides nicely. Nice little golden hue to it. Another silver added. That's cool. Silver. I didn't weigh this one. What do we got? 225, 67. We got silver. It's going to be 40 right there. This is roll number 17. Looking good so far. Good trend. Everything on the inside keeps it a little more suspenseful. 67 this time. Good looking 40. Well, it's been a minute. Um, <laughs> we went through the rest of those black rolls without a, another singular find. We are working on the box now, almost the halfway point. Nothing too extreme. I've already opened it, and it was kind of tucked under the collar, so I missed it. There's a silver edge, second one in. It's going to be a 40. 1969 Denver, 40% out of the box. That's sweet. Well, that's all she wrote. Uh, here's the finds. Really, really awesome hunt. Uh, unique with those finds, too. We had a Walker, 90% U.S. from 1941. That was a Philly. We had this 80% Canadian half from 1962. That I'm thrilled with. I've never found a Canadian half before in all my time doing coin roll hunting for 40 percenters as well. That means we had six finds and over an ounce of silver hauled in. That's really, really cool. Three lonely NIFCs. Uh, 2009, 2003, and a 2020. And of course, that clad 2017S. It's a little worse for wear. I do not have this one in my book. So in it goes. It's not the best example we've uh, ever seen, but hey, it fills a hole. I have said since the beginning that my Kennedy halves, uh, I will be filling naturally. So just finds from coin roll hunting. This is the latter stages of the Kennedys. You see, I do have a couple of proofs. So it makes a fifth since 2013. And I also have silver proof in there. That's really cool. Uh, modern ones are no longer 90%. They're three nines fine. So keep that in mind if you're looking for them. Really cool to find those. Uh, happy with the hunt, though. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. Appreciate your support. You show the channel. Consider subscribing, liking this video, and ringing that bell so you're notified when this next video drops. Because you never know what you're going to find. Some cool stuff like that. Or like that. Everyone loves a walker, right? Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Going to catch you next time.